Well, throughout the month of October, we have been treated to a roller coaster ride、uh, in the stock market and with your investments. I'm sure you're looking at them just getting dizzy and maybe a little bit nauseous.、Uh, that's why we've been having Steve Sexton in, our financial advisor here and our expert on the numbers, to talk about、uh, the safe approaches and the best approaches for you and how you should maybe be responding to the current conditions. So, Steve is back with us this morning, the president of the Sexton uh, uh, Advisory Group here. Steve, always good to see you. Um, last time we were talking about an analogy of, of health, your personal health,、mm-hmm. and how you should、uh, really kind of approach your finances the same way, getting a good diagnosis, good information. Let's kind of continue the theme here. Okay, let's do that.、Um, all too often, a doctor will prescribe a prescription, and somebody will take that prescription and go home and just keep taking it. Or over time, <laughs> they will have to come back and see that doctor to make sure that prescription is still providing the same potency it did before,、right. or to make sure there's no side effects. And that's the same for the financial markets. The perfect example we go back a couple years to 2007 with Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. They were trading at $27 a share. In 2009, they were trading at 35 cents. Okay, this, this is absolutely shocking when you talk about numbers of this magnitude. And if folks are invested in this. I, I, you know, I don't even know what to say to them at this point if they weren't examining their portfolio and making adjustments. Well, Kodak's another example. Two years ago, it was thirty-five dollars a share. Two weeks ago, they're in bankruptcy. It's at fifty-seven cents a share, and they're selling all their patents to pay off the debt. And you know what? They were the apple of their time. Right now, what does this mean to everybody? It means that hey, look, you might get a prescription, but you need to get that quarterly checkup, or at least every six months or a year,、right. to understand what's going on and to see if there's risk there. So, for example, stocks are all by the numbers. So if they don't have sales, earnings, and profits. Hey, it's probably not going to grow. You're not going to get your dividend, and you know what? You're going to lose value. And the problem is, is most of the people on the street don't realize this, and they should be checking up with their 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 phys-、uh, I want to say physician, but financial advisor more <laughs> often. And there's other、their、things. Their financial physician. Maybe、yes. we should coin a new phrase. Steve Sexton, <laughs> president of the Sexton Advisor Group, and financial physician. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> okay, but, Doc. Continue. Well, <laughs> but here's the biggie.、Um, Market sectors that are growing in this environment. Which ones are? If you find out that the value is being reduced, like you look at a B of A, where you see, oh my gosh, their their financials aren't great, but Warren Buffett just invested six billion dollars in there. That's a clue.、Um, Hey, maybe you should be looking at the numbers from an analyst standpoint and saying, Hey, what are they, where are they going to be in the future? And understand, hey, does this is this okay for my portfolio? The biggest thing is to start asking those questions、right. to understand what's going on, as opposed to saying, you know what, I've had A and T, AT and T for years, and I'm just going to hold on to them whether they go up or down. Yeah, and, you know, I'm sure back in the day there was an ice company that was probably、uh, the number one ice company in America、mm-hmm. and probably the fastest growing, and that's when everybody needed to put blocks of ice in their ice boxes instead of refrigerators like we have now. So. I mean that might sound like an archaic example, but I mean the way technology, especially, is moving these days,、um, I can't personally keep up. That's that's where you come in、oh, as、yeah. an expert, as the doctor, the financial physician. <laughs> you you following this now? <laughs> we'll see if this sticks after this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk a little bit about、uh, some of these seminars that you do, and, and I think that's what we're looking at pictures of here.、Uh, Steve, I know you do these absolutely free, and they get jam packed. And I want to make sure that folks have an opportunity to get to the next one. Okay, this is all about education. First of all,、uh, we're going to talk about those myths, that misinformation, that unrealistic expectation, but more importantly, to not make decisions based off emotions. Right. So we're going to show you and tell you the questions to ask, so you can make some prudent financial decisions. Now, our next workshops are at the end of the month. I believe it's on the 25th and 27th in October at the Courtyard Marriott and Hotel Circle. They can either call the office or go to our website. Uh, they can call Jean at the office, and she'll take the reservation. Right now, we have a few spots available. They're filling up pretty quick. Okay, folks, I'm going to leave the information up there for just a second, so that you can jot this down.、Uh, certainly, you know, whether you're a large investor or a, a huge investor, whether you're just starting to think about your retirement, and hopefully you're doing that in your 20s, and you know, not your 50s, or whether you're nearing retirement. 
this information applies across the board, doesn't it, Steve? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, you know what? Whether you're a big investor or a small investor, it's important to buy the best merchandise and to do it based off fact, not off emotion. Because if you do it based off fact, you know you've made a rational decision that's in your best interest. If you do it off emotion, you could still have that 800-pound gorilla in the room and, oh, my God, there goes my money at the next uh, downturn. Absolutely. All right. Steve Sexton, president of the Sexton uh, Advisory Group and our financial physician. Okay, I'll check the emails and the cards and letters, and, and if they like it, then it, it might stick, all right? All right thanks, Mark. <laughs> okay, Steve, always great to see you. Folks, uh, get signed up for these seminars. Do not miss them. Again, they're free, and, and it's invaluable information that could be worth thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of dollars to you. Go to sandiego6.com, click on San Diego Living, as you just saw right there.